So today, I'm going to be doing a video on the Hero S10. This is going to be the 52 volt, 28 milliamp battery that I ordered from Hero USA. It arrived today. I got it in the black. Kind of go over what's in the box. So out of the box, you got your charger. Your normal charger. They include a small tool kit, uh, some fuses for the charger, an instruction book. keys, a hero badge, an extra bushing for the folding mechanism, your bracket for your headlight, headlight slash horn, comes practice pretty well. I ended up going up with the hero, I ended up going with the hero brand. Um, Gave me a super uh, good offer for buying two. Uh, they gave me a first responder discount and took 150 off each scooter and it was already on sale. So I can't say enough good things about Hero uh, USA. It's a great company and they throw in some accessories too. This is the, the bag, the handlebar bag. And it's got the cup holder. Oh, this is awesome. Cup holder and a phone mount is the, uh, the included accessories that they gave on top of the discount. So, really good to eat. So, I'll slice this <clears throat> to pull it out of the box. Pretty large scooter. It's got the 10 inch wheels. So, kind of making a mess here, but it is. pull that down and release it, then the fold, fold it up. Got the kickstand here on the side. I like the deck, it's pretty long. The deck in itself. You got the lights here on the side. You got brake lights that are built into the, the rear shock, which make it real nice for visibility at night. You also have lights here on the back ends and lights here on the front. And then the headlight, which goes, which I'll be putting on right here with the horn combination. So everything kind of, it kind of comes built outside of the handlebars and just making some minor adjustments. Everything's already in place. So what you want to do is on the, this head, just take off all the screws. They already come pretty, pretty loosened. So that's basically all you really have to do to build these. It's pretty much 90% built. So you take these four screws off, which is the top end piece of the head, insert the handlebars, tighten that down to your liking, and then make the adjustments on your, 
your uh, voltage meter and your throttle. This is the top of the headpiece. I really like the branding on Hero. They've got all, they branded this into the, the metal. They are actually working on a matte cover <clears throat> that's different that I've been watching videos. So there's a matte cover, not for this particular model, um, but it's a rubber matte, like a hard composite that would take place of the, the deck tape there, which is like for a skateboard. Just gotta see which way I put this on here. Oh, it seems odd because I have to pull those forward. I've had enough practice with this, you would think. My second scooter, so. So what I found is if you keep the, the bar's position pretty much up like that, it's a pretty good angle. It's not too far forward and not too far back. Kind of just start your screws. I use gloves on everything, just bear with me on that. I like using gloves, so easy cleanup. There's not really a lot of grease you can get, but I just like using gloves. So it's a five for the head. I invested in these, <clears throat> the long neck. I saw a couple of people with scooters using this style. And just seemed to work really good. So you can kind of get that started and then do the adjustments to your bar on where you want it the right angle. I'm kind of new to the scooter world, but after watching some other videos, they say uh, most of them are kind of bent backwards, like facing. These are more of what they call a BMX bicycle bar. But if you line it up to the middle, you can basically, you have access to the bolts on both sides. That's what I did on the other one. So you kind of tighten all four, snug them up a little bit, and then make your, and you can follow through and tighten them, tighten them down once you get them all started so that they kind of tighten evenly. So what I will do <coughs> is get the charge started on this because uh, I don't know that it's a rapid charger, but it, it kind of looks like the rapid charger that I got with our bikes. But if you get the battery started, it kind of helps the process once you put it together to take it for a ride. So when you plug it in, the battery already has juice, so it'll turn the red light on. I was kind of thrown by that the first time, but I noticed that it's just that it, it's the feedback from the battery on that. And it does have a shut off. Once it charges, it turns off and you'll have a, a green light right here. And those extra fuses that they include, this is where those go, they should ever pop. So it's red right now. And once it fully charges, that light will turn green. And then this light will obviously will stay red because it's powered on, but then the fan will shut off once it's fully charged. So now that I've snugged them all down, I'll kind of cross over on each of them and snug it down even more. 
tighten up. <clears throat> this is, make sure everything's tightened down before you take it on a ride. That's the last thing you want the handlebars to slip. which I actually really like. The horn is like, uh, almost sounds like a, like a cop car horn. It's really loud, but I like the sound of it. And the light seems really bright as well. So this is your throttle. It's a finger throttle. Takes a little getting used to with the brakes. Being up here and having your brake, you gotta kinda figure that out. But once you ride it for a little bit, you kinda get used to that. So everything kinda comes loose on it, and then you can make the adjustments to the brake levers to where you like it. You gotta kinda work with it. Also, because you have this, uh, the, the throttle as well. Kind of line those up to where you feel comfortable. Make sure those are pushed in. I'm not really sure what size these are, but I'll tell you as soon as I figure it out. Here. Looks like those are going to be a four for your brakes. So what I learned on the last one. If you make these adjustments first, it's actually helpful. Your voltage meter right here with the key, it's kind of here on the back to tighten it. And also with your horn and your light switch. So if you tighten this handbrake, it kind of gets in the way of that. And then uh, makes it a little harder. But yeah, this little set comes in handy to have and make all, it has all the light. Size and I got it off Amazon. I'm kind of doing this at night, so it doesn't it doesn't really help. So for the horn, that's going to be a three. Brake levers are four. Horn three. You don't want to tighten these down too much because they're rub uh, like a composite rubber or a plastic, I should say. <clears throat> so you gotta just kind of get these to where you where you want. This one's a little trickier. There's a bolt. And you have to line up well this this happened to me on my other one <clears throat> so what happened the bolt itself yeah it did there's a bolt that comes on the back side and it tightens into the metal sleeve on the other scooter that I got it fell off and it, it fell inside, so you literally have to take this whole part of this whole piece, this voltage meter apart. So I really wish that when they package these, they kind of tighten that down a little bit so that you're not fighting that. So that's gonna take some time. I've already done that before, so I kind of already know. It's going to be a three as well for your throttle. 
So what you do is you, you remove the two screws on this. And you gotta be careful, there is a bolt that those turn into, that they don't fall out. So when you re-tighten them, you just gotta kinda put your finger on the back so they don't slip out. So what you do is you take these off, and you'll see there's a notch that lines up that you put on this mount, and then you re-tighten them up. They do this just so it doesn't break off during the transport. So I'm keeping my finger on the back end because of those, the nuts that the bolt goes into. You're basically taking it out of that and you're trying to keep it from falling out. Starting to realize working with the smaller screws with gloves is a lot harder than, than it has to be. So, just want to start these. And then you will position it what you want. I've messed with it a couple different ways. It, it is tricky to get used to using. finger, your index finger, for the throttle, and using the brakes too. But I guess it's kind of a safety thing because with the twist throttle you can get caught up and that thing will take off on you. So I haven't quite tightened that down yet. I'm going to loosen it just a little bit. I can get my brake lever lined up to where I like it. Oh, that's the four. And I do like that they it has the nut brand hydraulic brakes, which if you look up scooters, you'll find that the hydraulic brakes is like an upgrade. For almost every brand out there, they all, it's an upgrade. Well, what Hero did is they knew everybody liked the hydraulic brakes over everything else that they included. They just included with the scooter. Well, this scooter is normally $14.99, it was on sale for $13.99. And like I said, they honored, since I was buying two, they gave me the first responder discount. And I believe it was 150 off each, so 12, I wanna say 12.50. I could be wrong on that, but somewhere right in that neighborhood per scooter. Which to me is a steal because it's a thousand watt motor. It's the larger battery. It's a 52 volt. I just, I was starting to learn all the different specs um, and what they offer. I do really, like for hilly area, having a dual motor to me probably is the best option. And uh, I kind of wish I did have the dual motor, but at the price that they gave me this, uh, I've been riding this one. And you, you can get in there and adjust some of the settings for the torque to take off. And uh, it comes unlocked on the speed. And I have gotten it going downhill 35, 36 miles per hour. So uh, the one thing I so the light mounts on you can pick any of these bolts on the front. I picked the top one uh, just because you have the one the one hole and it's flat on the very top of the the handlebar head. 
it's flat right there, so to me it makes the most sense. What you will find is that the angle of the bar is back, so that you're shooting the lightning kind of up. So once you put the light on and mount it, you just ever so gently just push down on the light and angle it down to where you want it. There's two screws on the bottom, which are Phillips. Test it out right now. One second. Turn it on. The light kind of just slides in there. You'll you'll see the groove. There's a groove there. I'd pretty much be close to done after this light, but. The fact that that screw came loose and fell in, you have to take that whole switch apart, which is a hassle. But well, being that I already experienced that, and I could be wrong, it could have, the screw could have fallen out, but it sounds like it's in there. Like, that's the noise it was making the last time. So I'm not gonna put that in the video. That's just the last thing that I'll have to do. So you'll tighten these down, they have little washers with the Phillips on the bottom. Finish taking out that bolt and then I'll connect it. Yeah, it seems like a really well made scooter. I haven't really, don't have nothing much to compare it to. This, this is the first one that I, that I purchased. I was on the market for a couple of different ones. Um, the Apollo scooter was the other one, and no deals, no first responder deals. They didn't have anything like that. And then when I went to go place, initially they didn't have sales tax because they're they're based out of Canada. And then the second time. The, the very next day, actually, I called, put an order together, and then there was sales tax. So that added quite a bit to two scooters. Um, and I didn't want to pay quite that much for something. We just invested in e-bikes, and I just wasn't going to pitch them that much money for that. So. Like I said, the last thing I'll have to do is take that voltage meter apart and uh, get that screw out to, to attach this. But since that's pretty much it right there, so you make your adjustments. Here's your finger throttle, your brakes, and then I'll just have to make the adjustment on the brakes and then the voltage meter. But you click it to the left, it turns on, it'll read your volts. Right now it's 52, but it's charging, so I think it uh, gets up to around 58 when it's fully charged. They say always go by your voltage meter, not your battery meter. If you want to know like how much battery you have left. So you'll sit here and you'll hold the power button for a few seconds and it turns it on. There are some settings you can go in that it'll 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 take off on just throttle. I keep I kept mine on pedal push. Uh, basically push off, you gotta push off like a regular scooter before you can engage the throttle. I think that's kind of just a safety. Because anyone can turn it on and you hit this throttle and this is a, this is a thousand watt motor, it'll take off on you. It'll definitely take off and I'm just doing it from the safety standpoint. So there's a power button and there's a mode button. Um, the mode button is what you'll hold down. To get into the settings, which you can find the settings in the instructions, you'll hold the power and the mode button for about approximately five seconds, I believe. 
and then it'll get you into what I believe is 15 different settings and it's all listed in the book you can go in and it tells you what they actually put it at and then you can alter certain areas of that um, there's only a couple of things that I actually modified on the other scooter um, then you'll hold it to get out the same way hold both buttons down to get out uh, to turn on the light you, the lights all around you hold the mode button for a few seconds and then that will kick on the lights kind of show you here so these are the lights there's those brake lights and then those these lights these LED lights that they put in the, the rear spring so you have those brake lights all the way around there's an app that they give you the link to to download there's those front lights there for the ground while you're riding um, this is just nice. You can change the settings to solid colors. There are so many settings on this uh, once you get into the app. Um, that extra bushing is this piece right here. They give you that extra bushing because apparently I think with time that can sometimes crack. So they give you that. But it's really tidied up nice. You pull this lever, it, it lifts this up to fold it down. And then it locks in place in here, which then you can pick it up. It has the coil uh, springs here in the front, the shocks that make it nice, your mud guard, the 10 inch tire. And over here you got your, your rear spring, your hydraulic brake lines, your rotor, and the rear fender for any mud or water. So I'll kind of show you the brake lights. You push in it, hold the brake either side, it's gonna give you that flashing. Let it go, it's just gonna stay red. Here's up top, here's the mode button to turn on. This is what you would hold down to turn on or off the lights around. It's in gear one, you can change that, obviously. Gear three is gonna be your top, right there, gear three. So depending on how much power you want out of the motor. Grips are really nice, I actually like them. Uh, it's kind of a solid grip, not really soft. It's got your BMX style handlebars that are pretty much a straight bar. And like I said, if you get above it and put it right in the middle, you have access to those four bolts on the head. This is the front light. There's your voltage meter. Like I said, there's a, there's a screw that came loose that's inside. I'll have to take this side out with these screws. So if you get one and this happens to you, there's three screws. This piece will pop off and you'll find that small screw inside there. Here is your horn and light for the front. That's the horn and it kind of sounds like a cop car. I love it. Then your light and you'll see by the angle just by looking at it, you can already tell that it's angled up. So look at the light is up here. So all you have to do is get it to your liking. You just kind of push down. You push down till you get it to where you like it. And that's as simple as it is. You got these uh, front marker lights too, so you can kind of keep it out a little distance in front of you, depending on what you're liking. I like it just a little bit lower to kind of see what's directly in front of me. I kind of live out in a rural area. But that's pretty much it. That's your lights right there. And your horn. Your voltage meter, 52, it's charging. Like I said, you got the nut hydraulic brakes that come now standard with it, which is awesome. There's no other scooter that I looked at just comes with the hydraulic brakes because the people like it. So I'm a firm believer in Hero. Um, I like that they kind of develop. This isn't one of those scooters that they just buy and they kind of develop certain things on the scooter themselves. So it's not like they just rebranded it. Um, 
but this light bar at the visibility for night it's going to be amazing especially if, for, from a safety perspective so that is pretty much it you'll see how bright this light can be it is bright I just got to make the final adjustments and get that voltage meter back on and we're good to go and here's the other one that I bought we had an issue with the shipping so I got this unfortunately I had to pay extra to get this one shipped overnight because the package got stuck in Phoenix uh, but they were able to get it out and I got it in two days out of Florida I think is where they ship out of so I'll do a follow-up video um, on a, on a ride and kind of do a informative video on the speeds and gears and such on, on my next video. So uh, subscribe and I'll keep you updated on this particular scooter. I also have some other uh, electric vehicles, uh, bikes and such too. I think I'm going to start doing some videos on those as well. So thanks for joining.